Hi, I'm Dan Parsons, Gates Product Application Engineering. I'm here today to demonstrate how to install taper lock bushings and synchronous sprockets. Virtually all of Gates synchronous product line uses taper lock bushings to secure sprockets to the shafts. And taper lock bushings typically use hex type fasteners requiring hex, hex bit sockets. Be sure that your hex bit sockets aren't worn so that they don't slip inside the fasteners during the tightening process. Let's get started. The first step in the process is to clean the shaft with emery cloth. Then place the key into the shaft. Note that for bushings with tight fitting bores, a screwdriver into the saw cut can sometimes help the fit. Place the bushing into the sprocket, aligning threaded with unthreaded holes. Start a set screw and slide the assembly onto the shaft. Next, slide the assembly back on the shaft as far as possible towards the outboard bearing to reduce overhung load. Tighten the screws with the wrench set at the prescribed torque level in an alternating pattern until the wrench clicks once. Using a drifter punch and a hammer, tap the face of the bushing to seat the bushing just a bit further. Then retighten the screws a final time in an alternating pattern until the wrench clicks once. Note the additional unused hole. This hole is used during the disassembly process to separate the bushing and the sprocket. For further questions or discussion, give us a call at 303-744-5800 or shoot us an email at ptpasupport at gates.com. And thanks for watching today.